Four surveillance video shows the moment deputies say an armed gunman killed a man inside a local barber shop. They say the gunman also hurt two other men. The shooting happened at the Majestic Hair Studio on South Cimarron Boulevard near Full Sail University on June 1st. News 6's Nadine Yana spoke to the barbershop's owner and detectives. She joins us now live from the sheriff's office. Nadine, what have you learned? Well, Julie, this is the first time detectives have released video of the shooting that happened back on June 1st. And in it, you're going to see the suspect is concealed. He has a hat, a hoodie, sunglasses, and even a bandana. But detectives believe once you see this, somebody somewhere might be able to recognize him. Though it's only 10 seconds, Orange County Sheriff's detectives are hoping these suspenseful moments of a gunman who shot three people and killed one inside a barber shop could help find out who he is. Although it seems insignificant, we think somebody that knows this person um, would be able to recognize him. In the video, you can see the gunman run into the shop with an employee who was shot with his hands up. The suspect concealed with a hat, sunglasses and bandana in the shop with a gun. But the video detectives believe have some clues that could help solve this case. By the walk, the way he carries himself, the way he wears his, clo uh, wears his clothing. If you look at his shoes, the shoes look like they might be a little too big. We got people, customers bring flowers. Back at the barber shop today, owner Eliud Gomez shows us his co-worker who was killed. I miss him. I miss him a lot. 40-year-old Arvin Ortero Santiago died hours after the shooting back on June 1st. He was a very, very friendly guy. He talked about sport and family. That's all he talked. Gomez wanting the suspect caught, wanting to know why. Why? Yeah. Why I lost a friend, you know, like, just like that. So. Do you have any idea? No. This, while detectives believe the barbershop was targeted. And no other businesses were affected. So it, it appears that the person went here for a specific reason. But the barbershop's owner today says that they have no enemies, that he has no reason as to why this suspect ran in. In fact, no money or nothing was stolen. We're going to hear more from the barbershop owner on what he's doing now since the shooting in my story at 530. Until then, if you recognize the suspect, call the crime line right away. Live in Orange County, I'm Nadine Yanis getting results News 6. Nadine, thank you.